like uh, it's gonna kind of comes and goes. No, not on this resting part here. Do you have any other praying for me? What can you show me, Blindy? Another challenge? Can you do the all this challenge uh, in one go, or do I? No, this is a different one. Or do I need to wait for a, a new one to pop up? Use Mark Prey to have four allies strike an enemy. This Mark Prey. Mark Prey. Does uh, armor break damage? All allies within range attack the Mark target. Okay. They make heavy reuse of the old art. Yeah, it's a it's continuation to the story. Uh, Felix, it's a, just like a part two of the story. Like they split the story in parts. So of course it looks a uh, it's the same game, just more more story basically. I wonder if the Mark Prey works on, uh, uh, or for the, uh, archers as well. <laughs> yes. Now that guy has to not move. VR. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. As long as these don't die. Should be fine. Mark Prey works on uh, next tile only. Well, 
would have helped if I knew what that build actually did. might still uh, still work If it works uh, with the archers as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. The archer didn't shoot because he was in the melee. Ah. So I need to have uh, three guys, plus Rook uh, around the guy, and then one archer. I thought the... Uh, I mean, uh, Rook is a ranged guy normally. I thought the Mark would have been uh, also a Mark ability. This is a totally different setup now. One of these big guys would be actually a good uh, target for that. Hey, big Walter. Too bad, uh, it's not a rook next. But I think that guy can shoot uh, here. How's it goes today? It's okay otherwise, but my back is killing me, me at the moment. Like, you should be in the range, right? She shot the giant, right? She should kill it. Should be. There we go. That mark is a brutal, brutal skill. Yeah, it will be, Felix. It will be. I just need to figure out how to do that, actually, with the new setup. I don't have the program I, I used uh, before. Probably need to, need to re-get it. Oh, 
Okay, let's promote this guy. Which was this one? Exertion. Yeah, you don't need that. Actually, you could use that. Ask wifey for a back massage. And after she stops hitting you, then get a pillow. Uh, she did help me al already. Uh, I don't remember the program's name, to be honest. It's I think it was vir Virtual Dub, maybe? What's the... The, the, well, the problem is only um, I, I need to just get it and do it. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. I, I just need to get the program again. That's really no, no problem, just that uh, I need to do some stuff. Some of our heroes are injured. Yeah, it's fine. We're in a great mood, going down the river. A desperate looking lot of adults and a world stand on, a shore, on the shoreline, waving you down. You probably look uh, similar going anywhere with Ivor. They look hungry. But can be they be trusted? Toss them supply. Yeah. Hello, here's some supplies. We are not gonna stop for you. Your clansmen are glad uh, to share some supplies. A few on the shore beg you to join you, but they quickly fall silent, gratefully filling their mouths with food. The wall remain both motionless and expressionless, quietly watching as you pass. What were you doing with the program? I'm just, uh, uh, the uh, Twitch recording is in one massive chunk, all the billion hours we do today, or whatever. And I just need to uh, chop it into bits, basically. A cool breeze across the water works its way into your cloak. You shift uh, to block the wind and feel something press into your hip. You feel around and find an item in your backpack, but do not remember obtaining it. Oh, maybe it's that lady who put it there. Asalis Trail. Oh. The, the god gave us an item. The air. There is something changing. The sheer cliffs and boulders strewn waters of the southern band dictate the longship's course. The droning sounds of the dredge send their quicker pace as they follow your ships along the northern bank. Dust and mist make it hard to see ahead. A hissing, rumbling noise crawls all around. Waterfall shouts a sharp eyed need from the bow for a longship. Oars instantly reverse and you nearly lose your balance. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, they are. The backgrounds are amazing. And death roll. Uh, the roar of the approaching waterfall clouds your thoughts. All the clansmen you picked up uh, keep the ships uh, from being nimble, but only two fall the power of the overwhelming current. Still, the screams of the families, fighters and war are difficult to move past. The remaining ships uh, rovers have pulled hard, heading for the dredge line the northern bank. In their haste, the vessel smashes against sharp split rocks as they push out towards the shore. Some fighters are thrown uh, from the boats, sinking in mud under the weight of their armor. That was not the map before? No. The longships are uh, too spread out to command a unified landing. Amidst the chaos, you look at uh, those uh, nearby. Greece, a stout war warrior and a few others uh, like him uh, look ready to rush the dredge. Bulwark and his company are close to you, hauling their uh, sealed cart off the ship. You consider your options. I like Bulwark. We could use some help from the Ravens, Bulwark. We've got our own the war is interrupted by his uh, shield men and saying something to him privately. Bulwark snores and says, Volk offers her shield and spear. The people will know the Ravens pulled your ass as a result of this mess. There is no time to haggle or debate. We'll take whatever we can. Get. 
Do you know if you buy Rimworld? Can you change the email where it's sent? I have no idea. Super dancer. I will uh, send a tweet to the developer or something about that. I'm sure it's not impossible. I just don't know how to do it. Volga smiles. She passes a rage grunt in the head with the edge of her shield on her way to your side. Minus 10 renown! Ugh. Thanks, game. Minus 10 renown is actually pretty nasty. And all the other shit as well. Ugh. Gunolf is down. Yeah, it is a uh, super answer. Ivor, uh, Odd Leaf. Mm. <laughs> what was the new item we got? Plus two will, plus two strength. Gorm statue. Not back on strength attacks of three. Plus two will per kill. Plus one. That's actually. Looks pretty damn nice. Although, plus armor every turn is pretty cool as well. Let's uh, give that to that. Get that to you. You're a shield maiden, you get... Volka gets Volka. Volka's trade. And... Odd Leaf. Well, you get the happy candy. And we need one more guy. This guy was a bit of a douche as well, if, if I remember correctly. Let's get Grease. Actually, let's not get Grease. We have three tanks already. Eagle. Ah, you. Let's go. I need to learn about that saving, by the way. <laughs> oh no, our boats. Stay behind your shields. Nice spread. I move you. Don't put the wizard man in the front. It's not very, very good tactics in my opinion. Sylvester, <laughs> yes, yes, T Marcus. Too many enemies. Some armor destroying arrows. Champion. Big half damage from attacks. That is pretty epic ability. Some skulks from the shadows. What the hell is that? What are those? Skulker. Jeez, the Skulker can move through allies. Skulk. Skulkers become invisible and stalks the target. Howl. Reappears and attacks, signaling its backmates to attack the same target. These must be new enemies. 
I don't remember those. More of those damn skulkers. Great. What? Kill that one. It might make the, make the others run. It seems so unfair. This game is always unfair. That's that's what this game is all about. Being unfair. Should kill that guy, bro. Champion. I need, I need some Tempest up in here. Oh no, you don't. He's trying to summon. Enjoy the dredge fauna. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy this. He's uh he's in a really bad spot now. <laughs> oh, he up here from there. Oh, that's that's a fair attack. I would arc there, but it's probably not good uh, idea. Some armor for you. Mm. A tempest there would be. Something else now. Could mark a prey and kill that. I'm not going to. Repairing their armor, that slam. Awesome. Drum fire. Plus, minus one strength, plus one armor. Great. Can you fall up? Get here. Please. Lady. Can you join the fight already? We got the tempest off. Oh, you can't use. Oh, well. I 
I thought that, that would have done more damage, but guess not. Yeah, I need to use the horn now. Well, you have already extra willpower. Can you stop hitting Rook? He, he doesn't like uh, when you attack him. Also, don't don't hit my wizard, man. He doesn't like uh, like to get hit either. Uh, yeah. Ow. Wizard man could kill. I'm gonna risk it though. Wizard man go. Because uh, if uh, the wizard man didn't kill, uh, Evin didn't kill that guy, uh, the other uh, Dredge would have hit the uh, Rook and uh, killed him. So he would have been down for a bit. Risk it for the biscuit. Hakon works his way through the frantic clansmen on his way to you. You made some uh, tough calls on that river. If those ships had been loaded uh, down with more people, no telling how many we would have lost. So it was a good idea to leave the people behind. Thanks, too bad uh, the landing was uh, so rough. Hakon squints into the distance. Their next attack is coming, and this time they'll come in force. <laughs> That's it then. <laughs> well, it was good run, but I guess we'll just die here. What do they want? Yeah, send them home. We don't want Jesus in here. They seemed uh, keen on our supplies, but that can't be it, can it? That wasn't their reason for attacking uh, us at the uh, Boris Guard. You know, and I win the approach. There may be a way out of this situation, a gamble to be sure, but will it be, we believe it's our only chance. Gods, it's bad when a, a Valka option is the only option. Worse than that, I can't promise everyone will make it. Nice. Gina gives Avin the look. Just tell me your plan. Avin decides. With Juno's help, help, I think I can get us across the chasm. But it won't be easy for me or the caravan. Hey, Chop. I need to help Avin and calm these people so they are ready to march when he's ready. You need to keep this area clear of Dredge at all costs. If they. The sound of a war horn cuts her off and everyone turns to look. The Dredge assault begins. Rook Hakan, you know what to do. It looks uh, like the forest uh, you trained is roughly the size of the enemies. This could go either way, but the victory here will protect most of your clansmen. Juno and Eivind the move to the cliff's edge. Hakon surveying the battlefield says some supply battles could make a few barricades for defense. Otherwise it will be a straightforward assault. Let's make a barricade. Men and war begin moving battles full barrels full of food and gear ahead of uh, the fighters, but they look uh, your way for confirmation. You realize these supplies will be ruined in the fight. Yeah, well, it's it's either this shit option or this shit option, or we would you like this third flavor of shit?
see. As for you, I have 26 uh, points, so I could level up. Let's do Hakon. Forge ahead. Tempest. Forge ahead. No, I'm gonna go for Tempest. I, I like. I, I love the Tempest ability. And I got yeah, points, armor, and help. More promotions for him. Let's just go. Let's go and die. Hold them off. What do we have? Uh, lots of lots of nastiness. War. Strange uh, music. Also, the background uh, with the floating stones is kind of strange. Kill with tough? How about no? <laughs> yeah. How about? How about we just go home? Oh, m more rolling in. Isn't this lovely? Oh. But is he just uh, lifting rocks? Just the whole cliff, just. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, was that a bit of a bit of overkill? <laughs> Bring the pain. That's some magic that dude can do. do. We'll need more time. Don't you worry. We're, we're fine. These battery gates we did uh, are super helpful.
It's causing uh, so much pathing issues for the enemy. Oh, he's critting. That's why he's uh, just destroying those. It's, it's crits. Just a right shape. That's actually gonna work against me now. So I cannot get there easily. Should have done a stronger rain of arrow. Music is getting uh, crazier and crazier. They said PA music was depressing. <laughs> well, this game is is just a depression simulator. Not just the music, but the story and everything. I should have done one more damage. Oh, you're trying to summon? No, 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 no. But uh, the fat so is in the way. Can I go and kill him? Oh, you you ran away? It's not that epic battle to be honest. Thing. Such a beating. The tactical retreat on you. Morgals. If I kill the other guy, uh, 
kind of get to the pillage motor. But we don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't kill him yet, I guess. Stop hitting me, sir. Or, uh, there we go. Bit of overkill, but it's fine. Oh no! Injury 7. Wartime leadership. 21. It's got a lot of, lot of renown from that. Holy crap. Ready? Um, you look very dead. Get some air and some nom noms. Chocolate for the help. No, I don't say anything. <laughs> well, hopefully it helps. Juno walks onto the floating land, cradling a kid coat in one arm. She looks strained, but beckons to the families to follow. You shout for everyone to start moving, but the fighters and clansmen alike remain motionless. Large chunks of the earth bubbling in midair, like ships uh, at the sea, has everyone unsettled. Finally, Ivor takes the reins of a yoke uh, loaded with a supply cart and walks out onto the first floating stones. It supports the load without issue. We go this way, or the Dredge kill us all. His words are punctuated by a Slinger stone studying into the ground, only feet away. Men pick up their children and start running. The caravan animals squawk and bleed in the frenzy. Warl push uh, through the crowd, while others fight to follow their in their wake. The frightened mob uh, trembles a few and knocks a couple more from the ledge before everyone is st strangely pacified. Even you feel a sense of calm. Settle your nerves. Well, isn't that convenient? The wounded and the elderly struggle to make it onto the floating ropes while fear of the bridge paralyzes the legs of others. The dredge gives chase, crossing onto the bridge without hesitation. Ask, hmm, shall that Avin to drop the back of the bridge? Uh, but does that drop the elderly? Yeah, drop. Drop it. It's not too easy to mouth the words, but there are just too many dredge. While Avin seems unresponsive, Juno nods to you. You watch uh, as the floating stones near the land tremble and drop back into the chasm, taking all standing there with them. The sight is terrifying, but you turn and urge the others to keep moving forward. I see some tough decisions ahead with this. Also, we lost a lot of people in that fight, and I dropped a, a bit more of them into the chasm. Avid is growing visibly weaker, and meanwhile, many in the caravan are stunned by witnessing family members fall to their deaths. The effect is spreading. Say 
you not a grandma. <laughs> yeah. We, we just made uh, the crew better. We dropped uh, the elderly and the wounded. So. Ask Avin how you can help him. No, don't disturb him, Juno says, but Avin's concentration wavers as he looks toward you. The bridge rumbles and a large section falls away, taking with it a number of families and fighters. Shit. Bye bye, people. It's gonna be like a handful of people left at this rate. I mean, we had like a couple thousand people in total. Wasn't even that much. It was like a thousand people total. And we've killed like 200 on this shit. The stones behind the caravan are falling faster than the rising ones in front. The rear clansmen are uh, pushing forward in panic. Bulwark shouts. Knock some of these people over the edge before all we go. We all go down. People gasp and flee from him. We are carrying too much, Ivar says. We've got to get rid of something before that Mender drops us all into depths. You look around and see only people, food, and a massive cart of ravens. The ravens are calling. Only the two of the options are, are an option. Ugh. Oh, what, what do you mean? We, we dropped people already. I don't know what this cart is. I kind of want to keep it going. Dump more food! The clo Once close the supplies, look at you, bewildered. We won't need uh, food if we don't make it across, you shout. Slowly, a couple of carts are uh, unhitched and showed over the edge. Avin's relief is almost instant and the bridge extends, giving everyone more room and time to move. over the cart. Yeah, I don't know what's in the cart. I kind of want to keep it. I don't, I don't think Orm's Dalram is in a very good shape as well if uh, the land has been destroyed. Next to it. Avin's scream uh, chills you as it echoes off the cliff a mere hundred yards away. Again, the bridge shakes but stays together. When Juno looks at you, her lips are trembling. This is killing him, she says, and I won't let that happen. Her tone is dark and cold. What's the alternative? She says nothing but looks over uh, the rear of the caravan. Governor Ruga and many others uh, from Boyascard are back there. Hmm. Can I? Can I kill the dick prince with this? Hmm. I'm, I'm definitely thinning the herd already pretty rough. Yeah, I think so, the Morpheus. Hopefully it doesn't kill Eivind, though. He told me clansmen are important. Eivind must try. There's no time for me to explain, Juno says. The walker returns to Eivind's side and soon uh, screams erupt from behind it. He turn in time to see people falling away and Raka pulled uh, to the safety by one of his guards. As the rest of the caravan pushes uh, forward in fear, the governor glances at you with suspicion. I should have just killed him, but I, I'm pretty sure he would have survived. If I have to guess. This place is uh, all all of rigged as well. It's hard to believe we made it across that chasm. 
Now we find what's left of Ormstaller. Once a great trade town at the fork of the Ormsa River. How many lives must have been lost here? Looks like a few buildings might have been... might have made it. Whatever caused that chasm completely destroyed this place. It's the... nasty worm, I guess. From the massive wall of the youngest human children, everyone is sapped uh, from crossing the chasm. Tents are loosely strung up and gear is uh, thrown on the ground as everyone falls asleep. You manage to post a few guards out of habit before uh, sinking down against the crate, wrapping your cloak around you and closing your eyes. Your chest aches, aches as if uh, from a wasp sting. Feeling around uh, for the cause of it, you look down between you. Your leathery grey fingers running over a redstone breastplate. Gasping, you open your eyes to find your cloak still wrapped around you, no stone armor underneath. The caravan is still asleep, snoring more prevalent than usual. You are able to drift off for a bit more rest before facing the task of the new day. The morale is declining. No shit. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. Zero supplies. Yep. That's that's awesome. What is this building? Oh, that's the rest. <laughs> Let's go to the ruins. You make your way across the broken bones of the former trade town, curious as to what's inside this building, which is still somewhat intact. The structure groans as you enter, and you hear uh, yourself whispering, this isn't worth it. After a quick survey of the room, only two things stand out, a stone with a strange etching resting on a broken mantle, and a footprint in the dust near the s a small door in the wall. A gust of wind blows up from the chasm, and the whole building creaks. Let's get the stone. I know. I know you're uh, there. I'm here to help. A small door creaks open and a child looks at you. Come here, you say. This place isn't safe. Her red hair catches the light. Alet, you shout. I can save you. You reach out. Reach for the child who is terrified by your appearance and words. She slams the door closed and the building shudders. Wooden planks around you snap and you barely have time to flee before the large section. A large section of the structure crumbles off the cliff. You sit in the dirt, staring, emotions are knocked in your throat. Ivor stands stoically by Avin's pallet, watching uh, the Mender's breathing. It took a lot out of him. Out of everyone. No doubt, a lot of families lost members out there. So why even follow me? I get people killed. I don't get... I'm not doing this again. If you can't see the number of people out there still alive because of you, nothing else I say will change it. With nothing to say, you look down at the resting Mender. The spell of weaving took a toll on him. He looks as bad as me. <laughs> Before I ever can respond, oddly if uh, abruptly enters the room. Good, you're here. It's the Ravens. They are trying to leave, and some of our people want to go with them. What? Why? We nearly went over a waterfall in ships, and lost a lot of people following some Walka across uh, floating rocks. I'm not saying any of that is your fault, but people are scared. If they've made up their minds to go, they'll leave uh, whenever you are not looking. And the ravens have been hoarding supplies this whole time, and they are trying to take off with them. Juno and Hakon are trying to talk sense to uh, Bolberg, so it's desperate. As you make your way to the door, you turn to look at Ivor. Another wall isn't going to help uh, that situation. I'll stay here uh, with the Mendra. Now stand down, or you'll be missing more than your horns. Stand down. You son of a <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just great. Ah! 
Hulk smash. <laughs> yep. Bolo has lost his mind. Take him down. I don't really want to take him down, to be honest. This will get his attention. What have you done? Twerk, bulwark, hear me. The clansman chatter as you know converse of the days the bulwark quietly. Hakon grabs your attention. Get ready for a confusing conversation. <laughs> he motions at Ursa, one of the Prince Ludin's uh, bodyguards, who is wiping her pitch covered uh, hand with a rag on her way over to you. Clever trick, wish, this time. You all are too, just too easy. Things could have gone really wrong with your fire. How did you know that would stop Bulwark? The archer smiles at you. Like you're a child who just uh, spoke its first first word. Words. How do you think humans surrounded these uh, horned broods in the Great Wars? Hagen's face loses all humor, and Urosa laughs. If I can be any of any help, Ruh, just ask. She smiles and nods at you before returning to the Prince Ludin's tent. Strange one, that one. Stranger than Bulwark being a staff. As a damn sender, yeah, I shouldn't have uh, mentioned uh, he's a should have mentioned he's a berserk. Probably uh, the last of his kind after uh, a Narthoth. The War King laughs at your uh, blank look. Berserks lose themselves in the fight. They are as strong as cold bears and just as wild. Hard to say if they are a friend or a foe in the fight. So Mender magics uh, us over a chasm. And you two decide to kill each other. Got him trying to take off with supplies he tucked away. Couldn't let it happen. A cool anger glistens in Hagen's eyes when he looks at the bulwark. Why does he want to leave? Says you've been bad luck ever since uh, arriving in Borisgard. I can say I blame him for that now. <laughs> the two of you actually laugh for a moment. I'd better. Uh, his main reason for leaving is just to be in charge again, run jobs and keep his ravens in line. Like most of us, he's looking for something normal to grab onto. Whatever his reason, I hate that some uh, of ours, ours, some of ours are going with him. We've done uh, what we can for them. Mm, let's be generous. This might come back to help us. We have zero supplies, so splitting the zero is pretty good. Be generous and split your supplies with ravens. Half. There is kindness and there is and being dumb. Bulwark's a wall, so this uh, is my call. We'll give him some, but not so much. Not much. You shrug. Now, let's see uh, what we can find uh, in what's left of this place. Chapter 9. Oh, we get to play, play with the uh, other. You glare at the clansmen and warl settle among the ruins of Orm's Zaro, and feel rumbling grow in your chest. Everyone will be ready to leave so as soon as you uh, start walking north. I won't fall for that stupid fire trick again. Folga ignores your comment. The new members uh, from the other caravan will uh, probably need a beating or two. Think it was stupid of me to challenge Hakon? Not really my place to say. Since when has that stopped you? The shield mightn't greens. We could have uh, at least uh, waited to hear their plans first, then decide. You 
play it too safe. And Yoroe just landed us uh, on our asses. If we make it to the Bindal, get a job, and things get back to normal, we always survive. And what about all those uh, dredge? If they make it across the ca that chasm, it'll be war. War is always good for business. Folga smirks, but her face hardens as Juno approaches. Polwerk, could I have a word with you? Haven't you said enough? I'll hear her out. Well, I won't. I'll finish the packing. Two of you watch uh, Volka, Volka stomp off, but not too far. She's protective of you. Get on with it. I know your ravens need work. Without work and coin, the banner of yours is worthless. You step towards her, towering above the tall Valka, though she stands resolute. In Borskar, we made an arrangement for you to protect this large cart until we were uh, away from the dredge threat. They're across the damn chasm. The job is done. Agreed. But the cart uh, you've been hauling has become uh, too troublesome. It needs uh, to be sunk in the deepest waters around. You grant in disgust. Valka secrets. You would turn down the Mendra's Council's coin. Mendra Council's coin. What's in the cart? If you need to know, I would have told you. I wanna know. Suffice to say, you have a Valka's oath for a great deal of coin once you have sunk the cart. Blue River northwest of Pindal is my suggestion. And if I just leave it in the woods uh, somewhere, I will know. As will the other Valka. Besides, the Ravens always finish their job. Jobs. That reputation means everything to you. You growl, but she's right. Fine, the Ravens oath, it'll be done. Juno nods and walks away. Volka watches uh, her leave and returns to your side. Now what? <laughs> now we have a job. <laughs>